What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and it's barely been a week since the release of iOS 8.1.3, and Apple has just released iOS 8.3. Yeah, that's right, 8.3 Beta 1 to developers. So we haven't even seen a public release of iOS 8.2 yet, and Apple's already working on iOS 8.3. The very first beta was released today, and I'm going to go ahead and overview it and let you guys know what's changed in this latest firmware. Now, there are a few noticeable changes. If you go inside of settings and you go into general, the very first option you'll see is CarPlay. So inside of here, this gives you the ability to connect your device wirelessly to your computer and enjoy that CarPlay interface, which of course keeps you from being distracted. I've showed you guys the interface before on my channel. It's really cool and this is actually one of the very few steps to enjoy it wirelessly. And here I am on iOS 8.3, as you guys can see, and there are new carrier settings as well. I don't know if that influences the performance of your network at all. However, the number one noticeable change besides that is inside of here on your keyboard, there is a new emoticon page, which you can just swipe through all the pages just like this. The interface is just a little bit different. You can, as you guys can see, just slide through the entire thing, which is really neat. Now, besides that there's really no huge changes there are some changes for the two-step verification for google now you have to do that it's implemented better and there is the official new iphoto app which i can't really show you there's not much that's changed in here so pretty much it implements the new icloud photos two-step verification for google there's the new emoticon keyboard and there's a new carplay settings you know inside of settings so other than that and those changes so far in the very first beta of 8.3 not much has changed and it really baffles me how they're working on their updates now. It seems like every major revision of iOS 8 is currently being worked on at the very same time. Instead of, you know, sitting down and seeing what's wrong with the current version and fixing it, they're just adding new features and not fixing the concrete problems, which in itself is not a bad thing. I'm glad they are making these updates. However, I just wish they would add a little bit of stability. Now, the good news is, and believe this, iOS 8.4 has already been spotted on Mac rumors. So devices that are using this new firmware have have spiked recently after January. So 8.4, we could even see a public beta of that in the future and not even too far from now, which is crazy. So iOS 8.4 is primarily, it's rumored to actually implement the Beats music service on iOS 8.4. How cool would that be? Now that Apple owns the company, it makes sense. It's really cool if Apple did do that. That's rumored the number one change in 8.4. And believe this, iOS 9. iOS 9 is already in the works, as you guys can see right here, all the way back since December to now, it started spiking. So iOS 9 is already being worked on. It's been visiting this website for a while now, as you can see by the hits. And the number one change that is expected for iOS 9 is stability. You know, Apple is just everywhere. It's all over the place with these updates. They're releasing so many new features. It makes sense that iOS 9 is going to refine everything, take all those features and resolve all of the problems in iOS 9, the Wi-Fi issues, the battery drain, you know, everything, it's going to be fixed. It's going to be optimized. And for 16 gigabyte devices, it's expected that less room will be taken up with iOS 9. It'll be optimized. It'll work much better. And that's the primary focus of iOS 9. As for new features, you know, we don't have any hints at that yet, but number one expected feature is optimization. So guys, as you guys can see, iOS 8.3 is out in the wild. Of course, if you guys want to download it, I have a tutorial. You can see that right here and you guys can download the links there. I have download links set up as well. If you guys want to try out this firmware, uh, nothing really new about it. I don't know if it feels any different. I will be comparing it in the future. And if you guys are wondering about the jailbreak for iOS 8.1.3, 8.2, you guys can find out about it in my previous video right there. So I did just update you guys on that. You know, check that out if you're interested in jailbreak updates. Otherwise, 8.3 doesn't really have that many new features, but it definitely has more features than 8.2 did. I will be keeping you guys updated on the status, any updates to the beta firmwares, see if there are any changes. This kind of stuff fascinates me. But anyways, guys, just a little update for you. 8.3 is out. 8.4 is already being worked on and iOS 9 is already being worked on as well. In the meantime, on 8.1.3, if you guys are still jailbroken, don't update. As always, it will remove the jailbreak and 8.2 is going to be dropping fairly soon, about a couple weeks or something like that. And we might be able to see a jailbreak fairly soon on that guy. So anyways, if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe. I will be updating guys on all the new updates. It's just a cluster of new updates. Man, they're all over the place. I really don't know what Apple is doing, but I'm sure they have a plan. Anyways, I do hope you guys got something out of this video. Have a great day. Peace.